Now let's move on to a CNBC TV18 exclusive. Our colleague Shireen Bhan caught up with Ravi Kumar S, the CEO of global tech major Cognizant, to talk about the tumult in financial services sector, key acquisitions, and much more in our special show on the record. Listen into excerpts of that conversation. There's no change in my narrative since what I have said in May. Uh, some sectors are uh, uh, impacted or discretionary spend. And it's also falling off the cliff in, in some places. Financial services? Financial services is the, is the sector. Of course, we have a huge presence in healthcare. In fact, our healthcare economy is one of the largest in the world. Between healthcare, health, health equipment, devices, life sciences, we are the biggest provider. That is resilient to economic cycles. So that's an advantage we have. But overall, I'm seeing a lot of large deals. I think this is how the uh, market is evolving. Mm. And I'm hoping that uh, the progress we've made so far, as well as what, what, what we are planning to do for the future, I'm very hopeful that we could uh, bring back the growth, uh, growth mindset. Uh, acquisitions, because as part of your winning strategy, uh, is that likely to be a big driver as well? You've done about four <coughs> recently. How uh, big of an emphasis is that going to be? So, you know, uh, our capital allocation policy has been stated to do acquisitions. In fact, 50% of my free cash we use for acquisitions. That's the stated policy. Uh, I have not changed that policy. I think acquisitions have contributed well to digital capabilities and gaps which we had. And we've always used that as a way to fill the gaps. I'm going to continue to look for meaningful, purposeful acquisitions, which will continue to give us acceleration. Um, you know, the ones we did were, you know, the last one I did was a mobility asset. Uh, Cognizant, as, as it built its uh, uh, value proposition on a confluence of industry and technology, and I told you how the heritage is, um, we also actually are a big platform play. I mean, our healthcare platform, uh, Trizeto, has two-thirds of the insured population of the United States is on that platform. So I'm going to look for um, M&A &A activity either on platforms, okay. industry domain, or um, gaps in geographies where we don't have a presence. You know, we are a, we are a little more dominant in the U.S. 75% of right. our revenue comes from the U.S. So I'm under-indexed in, uh, in other parts of the world, so we could fill the gaps using that. Equally. Uh, we have a huge presence in healthcare and financial services, mm. and we have a lesser presence in other industries. We could fill the gaps using that as well. So it's a strategic tool. I'm going to, I'm going to use it as needed. You know, you talked about uh, the cost saving that uh, you hope to accrue on account of downsizing your real estate as well as the layoffs that had been announced, about 3,500 that you announced in May. Are you done with that, or do you believe, given the environment, more will need to be done in order to protect margins? So we... Uh, we made that announcement last quarter. We, start, we, have, we have made some progress this quarter that will continue for, the, for this year. Uh, I made a conscious call to only look for structural shifts. I mean, structural shifts of, uh, of cost will never, you know, hopefully won't come back. I think the social fab, you know, looking at the aspect that flexibility cannot be at odds to productivity, we think we can move work to where people are. So we are actually going to move a lot of that work to tier two cities. And you can catch excerpts from that exclusive conversation with the CEO of Cognizant all day today on CNBC TV 18. Time to slip into another break and uh, up next we'll get you all the cues from the commodities market. Stay tuned.